Hey there, it's John from Heroes and Legends. Today I have a Kaladesh bundle box to open up. So this is the first bundle box for opening. These are previously known as fat packs, of course. And you may have noticed, hopefully you noticed in a positive way, uh, that I got some new equipment thanks to the patrons on Patreon. <laughs> so um, this is the first time I'm using it, so hopefully it will work out. I guess I'll know when I go to play the video back. <laughs> uh, but it looks really nice. So. Thank you all for your support as always, and if you get support through Patreon, I mean, just watching the videos, giving us a like helps because it helps other people find the channel. Uh, and also too, if you check out the comments, or the description below, I should say, I have a link to my Amazon affiliate store. If you'd like to make any purchases through that store, small percentage comes back to help the channel. And uh, you can actually purchase these on there. You can buy uh, Calvish products, including this bundle if you'd like. So my big question about this product is what's different from the old fat pack? So let's find out. Well, so far it's looking similar. Uh, we have our cardboard insert, which has a little uh, kind of poster size art inside. So let me open that up first so you all can see it. It's kind of the rubber cement type glue on it as always. Okay, and of course, there it is. It's horizontal. It actually looks really cool. So same art that we've seen probably since the beginning when they first revealed Kaladesh, but pretty cool. Uh, you still get the booklet, so that's good. I was worried they would try to cut out the booklet, but here it is. So that's phenomenal. Um, looks pretty much the same to me. They still got the top 10 coolest uh, cards, so there you go. <laughs> Chandra being number one, of course. Sahili Ray is also on the list. Doman Bond, so there you go. And it looks like, yeah, pretty much the same stuff. They have a lot of, like, the lore in here. They let you know about the world. So it's actually very cool stuff. I always like these books. I haven't bought every fat pack, obviously, that's ever been made or anything like that. But since I've had the channel, I bought one always to open for the channel. So I need to, like, get these books together and kind of collect them. I love the encyclopedia. You can look at all the cards. I mean, granted, I know nowadays you can just do that online. But I don't know. There's something about it that's visceral that you get from looking at just these type of you know just a, a book as opposed to just going online so there you go so that's pretty much the same now i noticed we have this little filler box i guess for lack of a better word does it i don't know if this does anything or if it's just there to fill out the size well no it opens up well, it's, i guess it's a card box okay that's actually kind of cool <laughs> So it's a secondary box to put your stuff in, and then you also have your, your main box. Uh, this time it has a little bit of a, you can see that on the camera, kind of this triangle groove there. Uh, so, for whatever that's worth, it probably makes it easier to open. The die, the die is loose now, so there's our spin down. Actually pretty awesome. So we got a green one, Kaladesh logo there. And here's our packs of Kaladesh. Aside from these 10 packs, because now it comes with 10 packs, that's one thing that is different. Before these were 9 packs. I also bought 2 extra packs that I'll open in this video too, because I always try to get multiples of 3 uh, so that I can play limited with them. Still get your land pack, so Kaladesh lands, which I think actually look kind of awesome. Um, I won't open the land pack since we're going to see lands when we open the boosters, but it's your basic land pack. And uh, then you have your quick reference guide, which pretty much comes with everything now. Oh, and also there's a divider now in the box. Okay, so there's a few changes. Now this did go up in price, but you are getting an extra booster a booster pack. And I don't know, I guess you get this divider and this other cool box. So it's not the worst thing in the world. I would still like to see these at some point get to multiples of three packs, uh, just because we can want to play limited with them. Um, it makes life a lot easier. So, okay, I'm going to bear with me for a second. Like I said, this is a new setup for me. <laughs> I want to zoom in a little bit and uh, adjust my tripod a little bit. So you're probably going to shake all over the place uh, for a second here anyway. All right. So let's get going. We'll open our 10 packs here first and see what we get. And then at the end, I'll just open those two bonus packs I have as well. So we'll start with the fat pack packs. And... Uh, I'm just going to go through, so maybe I can get a tad closer. I'm just going to go through uh, like I normally do. I'm not going to do um, prices this time, just because it's so, the set's just so new. 
that unfortunately pricing is going to be a little misleading at this point because uh, I'm purchasing this the day of the actual release. Okay, hopefully I didn't make you all seasick. I'll get the hang of that. <laughs> like I said, new setup. Um, <laughs> I'll smooth that out in the future. <laughs> but uh, well, there's our first uh, vehicle. Pretty awesome sky skiff there. So, as always, I'll go quickly through the commons and we'll spend a little more time on the rare. Fretwork Colony is our first uncommon. Long Tusk Cub. Era of Innovation and our rare is Authority of the Consoles. So, okay, so far so good. First rare. I'm very excited to play with the Kaladesh. I have not, I didn't get to go to a pre release, unfortunately. It's been a while now since I made it to a pre release. Um, I do want to go, maybe the next set, hopefully, but uh, I will play on Magic Online. All right. So speaking of Magic Online, uh, I, I'll probably do a video about it. I was debating if I want to do a video about it or not, but uh, there's a lot of controversy right now around Magic Online with the uh, treasures that they're giving as prize support as opposed to giving uh, what they used to give, which is more booster packs. Uh, Harness Lightning, Fabrication Module, Quick Smith Genius, and our rare is a Skyship Stalker. Actually, a really good limited card. So... Could be a could be a constructed card too. At the time I'm filming this, of course, we haven't seen uh, the new standard yet. But tomorrow, I believe, starts the games will begin their opening. We'll start to see some new decks. Uh, but I think Skyship Stalker has a chance if there's an aggressive red deck out there or Boros. I think what we're going to see is more of the aggressive Boros vehicle decks. I think that will definitely be a thing. But anyway, Magic Online. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I know the treasures. They did a video yesterday. They had to shut their comments off on YouTube. They got so negative <laughs> and uh, just people aren't happy. And I don't blame them. I mean, unfortunately, the value of cards like that you see on Magic Online is very low compared to paper cards. If you give somebody just a chance of getting something good as opposed to booster packs that, packs that they can trade to actually play more, it, it does hurt quite a bit. Hazardous Conditions, Spark of Creativity, Restoration Gear Smith and our rare is an Angel of Invention. That's a mythic, actually. And actually, it's a pretty cool card. I think this will see standard play. It sounds like an early bruise. Things are starting to maybe happen with this card, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and we also got a Foil Planes, which actually looks really cool. I like the basic lands quite a bit here. I think they're really nice looking cards. All right, we'll keep cracking. Uh, another thing I just want to mention too, is, you know, like I said, the set being new, um, there's going to be wild uh, variations in price soon. So I don't want to put prices on here. I think it's going to be a little misleading. But um, I know I've gotten a lot of comments about some people like when I do the faster openings to music. Others would like to kind of hear my thoughts and reaction. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, at least with new products, I'm going to do kind of this ver this style video. Uh, Etherborn Marauder, Trusty Companion, Whirlmaker, and our rare is a Cabal Console of Allocation. So that's a cool card. I love the art on that card. It's awesome. It's actually darker than I thought it would be. All right. So, uh, so yeah, new products I'm going to do like this. And that will give me, I guess, a little bit of... Um, time to talk to y'all and discuss like some of the cards we pull and and I think everyone likes to kind of <laughs> hear the reaction when I pull something crazy. I do have some older videos I've already filmed. I'm actually going to not do that anymore. In the future I'm just going to open new product and open it. Like if I have to open a whole booster box I'll just open a whole booster box and just post it right away as opposed to holding videos back because what was happening was the commentary was just getting really outdated. So that's why um, I am posting those and I'll keep posting those from time to time, but they'll have music over them. Uh, Longfin Skywell, Oval Chase Dragster, Servant of the Conduit, and a rare is a Beerpore Orrery. It's actually kind of a cool card. I want to try that one out. All right, we'll keep going. So I would like to hear, though, in the comments below how your pre-release went uh, and how things have been going, what kind of polls you've been getting, getting in Kaladesh, if you got any inventions. 
I'm not expecting an invention. I mean, <laughs> I got really lucky with Battle for Zendikar and with the Gatewatch. If you watch those pack openings, uh, I got super lucky with those. So <laughs> I think I got three. I got uh, two expeditions from Battle and one from Oath. And I didn't really open that much of the product. Um, Foundry Inspector, Voltaic Brawler, Janjir Sentry, and a rare. Hey, it's a Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Uh, pretty cool. And we also get a foil era of in innovation too. So it actually looks nice. Good looking foil. All right, so we have pulled one mythic so far this fat pack. It's not bad. I mean, we got four more packs to go. Uh, yeah, so I got lucky too. Two out of the three I opened on the channel, which was awesome. One I opened in an event, so unfortunately that wasn't captured on camera, but what can you do, right? <laughs> um, but I was very, very lucky with those pulls. Don't know if I'll be as lucky this time around. I guess we'll see as time goes on. <laughs> Feels like some sets I'm really lucky. Other sets I just strike out over and over again. Uh, Blossoming Defense, Servo Expedition, Glint Nest Crane, and our rare is a confiscate, Confiscation Coup. That's hard to say. Confiscation Coup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Three more packs to go, and then we'll open our two bonus packs as well. Trying to keep the video at least sort of timely, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'll get faster once I kind of get used to the new setup, but um, I'm hoping it looks and sounds good. I'll know, I guess, pretty soon. <laughs> I might need to get a new mic for this new setup. That's, that's the only thing, because uh, my other mic's not compatible with the one I usually use. Essence Extraction, Consulate Surveillance. Armor Craft Judge and our rare is a botanical sanctum. So we got one of the dual lands. That's awesome. Simic Fast Land. Um, these are great. I love that they finished that cycle. I'm very happy to get the Simic one too. I think these you uh, both see a little bit of limited modern play. I mean the original cycle does, and there are times when I think people, if they have the ability to use the enemy colors, they would. So I do think they'll see a little bit of play there. I think we'll definitely see standard play too as people are trying to fix their mana in standard. Uh, so they will get play there as well. We lost the pain lands, which were the most recent enemy colored cycle. Uh, the Coction Module, Aerial Responder, Diabolic Tutor. I love the art for that, it's awesome. And Territorial Gorger. Nice. All right, so last pack for the fat pack. So if nothing else, we did get one mythic out of this fat pack. I think some decent rares too, one or two of them. Definitely the dual lands awesome. And then after this, I'll open the two bonus packs and see if we can get lucky there, right? <laughs> so when you buy the one lottery ticket, that's when you do well. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Arborback Stomper, Contraband Kingpin, Experimental Aviator, and our rare is a Cultivator's Caravan. That's actually a really cool card. Um, that's a nice rare to pull. I think, again, this is one that's got some standard potential. I like that island, too. That's awesome looking. <laughs> so, all right, so that's the fat pack. Uh, as far as value goes, you know what? Uh, if you want the booklet and the die, if you collect that stuff, then this is a good product for you. If you just want to buy packs, I'd probably just buy the packs. I, if you want to buy a lot of packs to play limited, I would probably just buy a booster box, quite honestly. But uh, the fat pack, though, or sorry, the bundle, <laughs> is really still, I think, good if, for collectors that want like the accessories. If you like the accessories that comes with, then it's for you. If you don't need those accessories and you just want to play the game, then you probably don't need to spend the money on it. I do think if it did come with 12 packs, now granted, I wouldn't want to spend more than I'm already spending. <laughs> um, but if it came with 12 packs, then you could even, with your land pack, uh, sit down with a friend and play a game of Sealed. That would be actually kind of cool. And that's why I end up buying two of the extra booster packs. Because, oops, there's an uncommon because that's kind of like what I want to do, right? So, anyway. Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Gearpur Guide. Ceremonious Rejection. And our rare is a Dynamo Tower. It's another one I really want to try out. It seems fun. And we got a foil. Wayward Giant. There you go. Four or five minutes. Okay, last pack. I might pull one more mythic, but I don't know. It's asking a lot for just one more pack. <laughs> 
I am glad we got the angel, though. That's actually kind of cool. That was a fun pull. All right, first uncommon is Voltaic Brawler, Etherborn Marauder, Ether Meltdown, and a rare is a Marionette Master. All right, so there you go. Uh, again, hey, thank you to the patrons on Patreon for helping us upgrade. Uh, for the last year and a half or so, I've been upgrading, <laughs> or I guess not that long. I think maybe a year or so I've been on Patreon. I've been trying to upgrade and got better sound and video lighting. Uh, so it's slowly coming together. It's getting better. Uh, so thank you all. Uh, someday I hope to be like a really professional looking channel. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> uh, but until then, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks as always for watching. This video, like all my videos, was made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Even a donation of a dollar helps me to keep growing this community and creating better quality content for all of you. Check out our Patreon page for exclusive giveaways and future goals for the channel. If you haven't yet had a chance to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, product openings, or finance videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.